Introduction They were in middle of a jungle. The researchers got on their hands and knees and rooted through the dead leaves on the ground. They watched carefully for flora and fauna of the place. Some of the plants were exotic. They had come across some plants that were not commonly found. Did these belong to the endangered species? Let us find answers about plants and animals of an area in this module. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to discuss the flora and fauna of an area, define endemic and endangered species, explain the phenomenon of migration, recall the solutions to the problem of deforestation. Students, you must have observed that some animals and plants typically belong to a particular area. Plants and animals of a particular area are known as the flora and fauna of that area. For example, sal, tea, silver ferns, etc. are the flora and chikanara, blue bull, leopard, etc. are the fauna of the Panchmari Biosphere Reserve. Now let us learn about the endemic species. For you to know a species is a group of populations which are capable of interbreeding. Members of a species have common characteristics. Let me ask you a simple question. Do you find an apple tree growing in the South India? No. Apple trees are usually found in the northern parts of India. Thus, species of plants and animals which are found exclusively in a particular area, are called endemic species. They are not found anywhere else. A particular type of animal or plant may be endemic to a zone, a state or a country. We are the two endemic flora of the Panchmari Biosphere Reserve. We are the endemic fauna of this area. What factors lead to make them an endemic species? Well, humans are the main reason. The destruction of their habitat, increasing human population, and introduction of new species may affect the natural habitat of endemic species and endanger their existence. You must have heard about dinosaurs. They existed hundreds of years ago, but are extinct now. Many of the animals and plants have become extinct whereas some are on the urge of extinction. Species whose numbers are diminishing to a level that they might face extinction are known as the endangered species. Survival of some animals has become difficult because of disturbances in their natural habitat. You would be wondering if there is any record of the endangered species. Well, Red Data Book is the source book which keeps a record of all the endangered animals and plants. Children, let us learn what does the term migration mean. Migration is the phenomenon of movement of a species from its own habitat to some other habitat for a particular time period every year for a specific purpose like breeding or avoiding climatic conditions. We get many things from forest. Gum, raisin, jute and paper are important products. Can you think of any alternatives available for paper? What would happen if we had no wood? Well, to all these questions, recycling of paper is the simple answer. Paper can be recycled five to seven times for use. By recycling the paper, not only the trees, but also energy and water could be saved. Thus, we should save, reuse and recycle paper. Well said, Adam. But recycling the paper is a measure just for controlling the deforestation temporarily. Can you suggest any permanent solution to the problem of deforestation? Yes, it is reforestation. 
Reforestation is restocking of the destroyed forests by planting new trees. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Plants and animals of a particular area are known as the flora and fauna of that area. Endangered species are those which are facing the danger of extinction. Migration is the phenomenon of movement of a species from its own habitat to some other habitat for a particular time period every year. Recycling of paper and reforestation are the solutions to the problem of deforestation.